Okay, today we're going to talk about getting your NIA number in Spain. It's a beautiful day today in Spain. Uh, it's uh, the 10th of December and it's lovely and sunny and it's, about, it's actually cooled down a bit. It's about 16, 17 degrees today, uh, which is not too hot. Uh, but, you know, you just have to wear a light jacket when you're going out. So, today we're talking about getting your knee in Spain. Uh, and so, let's get straight to it. Uh, now, in Valencia, uh, getting your knee is a five step process. It sounds like an Alcoholics Anonymous thing, but this is a knee number anonymous, right? Get your knee number. Um, there are five steps to getting your knee number. The first one is to go down to Avenida Constitución, to the offices, and actually uh, apply for one. And how you do that is to go down to Avenida Constitución. Uh, take a couple of pictures just in case. At the moment you don't need it, but the system changes every couple of weeks. So take a couple of pictures, take a copy of your, no, take your original passport and the copy of your passport and sign all the paperwork there and that's it. That's, that's that bit done. And they will give you a stamped piece of paper saying that you have applied for your NIA number. Now, the NIA number, what it gets you is the ability to actually buy a car, to buy a house, etc. You need it now. It's in a absolutely, as I say in Spain, imprescindible. You must have it. So, the second step then is to get your temporary NIA number because once you've applied for your NIA number, you can go to the tax office and get a temporary NIA number and that gives you the ability to sign for your house. Now, you won't be able to buy a car now because they're not valid for cars, but uh, to buy a house you can do it. So, get your temporary NIA number, okay? Uh, so you go to the tax office, you should see the picture now, more or less, and when you're at the tax office, you say, uh, you go to the second floor in Valencia and you say, I want a near number, a uh, temporary one, and you show them the application form and they will give you a temporary near number which starts with M or N or something like that, I don't know what letter they're up to, it's usually M, and that's it, you are done and you've got your temporary near number. Right, you can now go out and buy a house, unless they're not to recess you can't. Uh, the third step is to go and pick up your near number. So. You need to go down to Patrais, which is an area of Valencia where you go up to pick up your near number. And what happens when you get to Patrais is they give you a piece of paper which you then need to take a bank, uh, take to a bank. And of course, Patrais is in the middle of nowhere, it's in the middle of an industrial estate and there are no banks around. So, step four, if you like, is to go to the bank and pay for your near number, which uh, I think costs about eight or nine euros, maybe twelve euros. And you'll need to go to a bank where you've got an account or where they're going to accept you paying, uh, and mostly, most banks won't accept you paying the except between 9.30 and 10.30 on a Thursday morning if it's the third Thursday in the month or something like that. So really you need to go to a bank where you've already got an account. Right? Uh, you then take that piece of paper back and get your near. So I suppose you could say this is uh, step five. Right? And now you uh, go back, pick up your near, and you are the proud possessor of a near which allows you to buy a car, house, etc. But, they've just put in a step number six, which you'll like. And step number six is to go and register that NIA. So you go back to the tax office and you do two things. You say, I've now got my NIA number, I want to cancel my um, temporary NIA number. And so you change it, so that's a registered one. And then you say, I need to register my NIA number at the tax office, which you do. You go in and say, can I register it please? And you register it. And what that means is that you're now registered to pay tax in Spain on your property purchase your property sale if you haven't got any uh, for the sale. And that is it. Easy, yeah? Or symbols, as they say, in the upper the further market. Um, it's not that easy, it's a pain in the backside to do. <coughs> it really is. Um, so, there is another way, of course, you can do it from the UK. It's a longer process. I mean, it takes a month and a bit here, but it's a longer process in the UK. And if you go down to the bottom of this, uh, bottom of this article, you'll see, at the bottom of this article we've got a uh, a link to a book which tells you how to do it. Uh, I think it only costs a five or something like that. Uh, it's worth having a look at and it tells you the whole process of how you can do it yourself in the UK and get it done before you come over. Remember, if you're going to buy a property, you need a near, so it's very, very important to get it. So hopefully this has been helpful and then the next one will tell you the process of getting a residencia, which is even more fun these days. Uh, residencias uh, in Valencia. Oh, not fun. We'll tell you how to do it. Okay. Uh, anyway, from uh, 10th of December here in Valencia, really nice day, saying goodbye.